It's already 5:30. By the time we go, carols would be over. Where is this girl? Hey, Tina. It's getting late. You got ready so soon? Give me two minutes. I'll be there. What is this, Tina? We should be there by six o'clock. Hurry up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Amma, can I wear my necklace today? Your necklace? I won't give you. You are a careless girl. If you miss it, already you lost so many of your things. Wear whatever you have now and go. Oh, Amma, please. I'll bring it back safely. You see, today is Christmas Eve. At least today you should imitate Jesus, right? Don't you know he gave his best to us, though we don't deserve. So why can't you at least give me my necklace today? <laughs> you are so cunning. Always she is. See, Jesus gave us his best, his own life. But this necklace my mother gave you. What if you miss it? I won't give you. Please, Amma. Appa, please tell Amma to give it only for this time. I will not lose it. Please, Ma. Amma, give it now. If she doesn't lose us it, you can get it back. But one thing I am happy for you. Even she loses necklace, your salvation will not be lost. Given by Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Thank you for the salvation that will not be lost forever. Be careful, okay? This is precious to me. Thank you so much, Amma. I'll definitely lose it. Oh no, not lose it. <laughs> Tina, come on, ya. It's time. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm just fixing this necklace. Okay, done. Let's go. Hey, make sure you come in before 11 o'clock tonight, okay? Okay, okay. Bye, Ma. Bye, Pa. I forgot to remove the side stand. I'm so sorry. Good evening everyone. We know that the theme for tonight's message is the Lord from heaven. But first of all, I would like to introduce you to Ratnamma, a person from a remote village from the Shimoga district here in Karnataka. We know that the Lord came to seek and to save those who needed him. Three years ago, Ratnamma was in the hospital for the delivery of her third child. And there she met the Lord from heaven. Two sisters from our congregation went to visit her in the hospital and she accepted Jesus as her Lord and decided to follow him all her life. When her husband came to know about this, he accused her of leaving their culture 
and forced her out of her home and also made the villagers to expel her from the village we met her 3 weeks ago when we went there for our outreach ministry and she was so happy to meet us and she was so joyful and she was very happy in her inward spirit but outwardly she was struggling because there was no one to take care of her and she could not go to the village to find a job because no one would give her a job and then she told us that she had made a hut far away from the village where she lived with her children and she collected wild fruits and honeycombs and fed her children and also drank the water from the streams so what is your response to sister ratnamma tonight the king of heaven came to this world to express his concern for us to take care of us is he not commanding us also to care for one another are we going to take care of sister ratnamma i am going to pass this bag around please express your concern and help ratnamma so that she can continue to follow the lord from heaven What did you do? I think Ratnamma is my sister and belongs to the king from heaven. If Jesus cares for me, should I not care for her? I think the man who was trying to catch her attention on the road was Jesus in disguise. And the man who safeguarded us from falling was also Jesus our Lord. We happened to come to this church and hearing about Ratnamma, I think Jesus really wants me to do at least this for her. Please don't scold me, James. 